It's Brew Crew territory, Braun and Kratz, and a very rich young man who has never stepped foot in Major League Baseball yet, but he's very talented. Jackson Churio signing up for the big, big bucks. It's a record deal for a player who's never reached the big leagues. And we're about to talk to Freddie Peralta about it, who did sign an early extension in his career. But Kratz, the Milwaukee Brewers have the opportunity to have a potential franchise player for the next 10 years at essentially nothing in baseball terms. When people complain about salary caps and big market teams and all of that, this is what needs to be done more frequently by smaller market clubs. Yes or no? Absolutely. It has to be done. And this is what the Brewers have done. They, they locked up Yelly a few years ago. Now they're going to transition and not just a one-year transition. They're going to transition with Jackson into the type of player that he's going to be so that this organization can build around him. Think like, think Luis Robert in Chicago, and you're going to be getting that in center field with the Brew Crew. There you go. And I know Brewers fans are pumped about it. Probably see him on opening day. So let's get right to Freddie Peralta, who eventually will let us know a little bit more about what this means for a player to get his first millions. Oh, he's got the ball in his going right now. How you doing, man? Happy offseason. I'm doing good. How about you guys? We're good. Dude, the hair's looking good. I, I like this version, look, look, Kratzy, look. of Full Menu Freddie. Dímelo, malo pelo. ¿Qué es esto? What? Why Milo, man? You jealous? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, <Dallas>, man. <laughs> but you said Malo? You think it's bad or you think it's more? I, I was going to yeah, say Yeah, man, it looks like... No, Ma- it looks Malo all... is bad. That's yeah, what? Malo is bad. It just looks all, like, just nasty. No. Get a, take a shower. Limpy are your cuerpo one time, man. No, 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 no. I, I, when I take a shower, I wash my hair every day. Every single day. Yeah. Hey, I used so. to wash my hair every single day, too. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful. Matalo. The, Cuidado. A little Troy no Polamalu chance. locks going there, like the mini version of it. So, actually, this is where I wanted to start the uh, conversation anywhere, anyway, Freddie, is you had a guy who was in your clubhouse the past several seasons who liked to talk shit like the guys are doing right now, right? You always like to kind of pick at people. And Rowdy Telez. How sad were you to see that the Brewers let him go and now he just signed with the Pirates? So what are they getting in Rowdy Telez in the clubhouse? Uh, You know, like you say, uh, and I think that we talked about it in the past. So he's he's a good guy, a good clubhouse guy. Uh, And he always, like, (laughs) he used to be always in the, the, like, on the chairs or everywhere, like, trying to watch everybody playing in the little basketball team that we have in the clubhouse. <laughs> and, and he passed most of the time just watching everybody. And then, so now that's, that's, that's going to be one of the parts that I'm going to miss about him for sure. Because, you know, like being in there for four or five hours every day in there, see, just see uh, is something that I'm going to, you know, that I'm going to miss about him because I used to play with him a lot about that. And now, you know, talking about baseball, uh, he's, you know, I'm going to miss him because, especially me, a lot of time when I was pitching on the mound and I was behind one run or two run in the six or on the seven, he was the guy that usually, he did it like three or four times, me pitching, and he had somebody on base and he hit a homer. So so now it's, it's going to be different and he's going to be with the Pirates. So I, I get a little, I was surprised when I see that. And I, when, I, when I see that in the moment, I was like, damn, why, why the Pirates? And now I have to face him. <laughs> so, but it's baseball. You know, you never know about it. And this is business. You, you never know what's going to happen. And, and hopefully that, that, that he has a success, uh, that he, hopefully that he bring uh, some, some success for him and for the team too. And not against me, but, uh, you know, wishing the best. Let me ask you this question. So you're in the Dominican Republic right now? Yes. All right. Now, talk to us about the winters over there. I mean, they call them winters. But I want to know what you're doing, how you're getting ready. Uh, how, what's your day like in the Dominican Republic getting ready for the season coming up here? It's nice, man. Uh, you know, especially because I am here with my family and I have always have a good time with them. So now what I'm doing, what I've been doing since the third day that I get here in DR, uh, 
is waking up like eight in the morning and I go to work out like at 10 a.m. So by by one, I finish up and everything. Then I go to my villa or something in the mountains. So I that's what I do every day. So I just I just like to be chilling, uh, just enjoying the weather. Uh, you know, my my father has some animals in the back. Like he has like a it's not a back a backyard. It's something I don't know how called, how to say that in English. He has something like a little farm, and he has different kind of animals there. And I used to go there and just enjoy, you know, the 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 moment with him. And that's what I like to do all the time. So uh, enjoying with the family most of the time. That's what I love about the off season. Que equipo en la liga? What's your what's your what's your team in in the league down there in Dominican? Uh, Jesus. So the win the I, I you know I I played with the Toros in 2019, and now you know I've been just watching the games a little bit, know a lot, and it's it's a little crazy right now the situation that 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 they having because the two best teams of the DR. Uh, are the Aguilas and Licey, and they are now competing for the number four spot. So the, all the people around here, <laughs> around here, because this, this is crazy. Baseball is crazy here where I live. Uh, they always like you know back and forth, like no, we're gonna take this your spot. This, this, this. But it's it's a little crazy. I don't know a lot about what's going on, but I just see because my brother is playing with the with the Licey, uh, my little brother, my little brother. So now that's that's why I know more than normal. But I don't used to watch a lot of baseball, but it's a little crazy. I can tell that. Yo soy Aguilucho, soy mejor el mejor Licey. I was a I was nah. an eagle. I was an Aguilucho. <laughs> Aguilas is the team from Santiago, and he's talking about Licey, which is one of the two teams. Escogido and Licey are the two teams in um, mm -hmm. Santo Domingo. So your brother plays for Licey, yeah, in the capital for Licey, yeah. Uh -huh. Yo soy Aguilucho, so would you, because we, Did you we play were talking, yeah, in uh, 2009, yo soy Aguilucho, but, oh my, Jesus. yeah, Amarillo, tu sabes, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> like do that. you, because we saw Andy Rodriguez, he got hurt the other day, Ronnie Mauricio got oh, hurt the other day, yeah, how would you feel if Christian Yelich came down to play in the Dominican Republic and he got hurt, or how would you feel if, you went to go pitch for Lise con, con tu hermano for one game and you got hurt. Like, should should guys be playing or should they not be playing? Damn, it's, it's hard for me, like, that question because, look, uh, I was really sad when I saw the, the Mauricio uh, news. I, I, I had no idea about it. And then one more, I think it was just that I just see that somewhere, I don't know, maybe Twitter. And I was like, damn, because finally last year he made his debut, right? And he was doing good. And, and now he was playing here and look what happened. UCL, he's done his UCL. If I'm not wrong, I think that that's right, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. And so it means that he probably going to be out for the next season, for most of the season, probably going to be out. And, and it's hard, so... Uh, and what you say about Yelich, I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I know, I know. <laughs> but, uh, you know, as a Dominican player, as a Dominican first, and as a player, you know, I think all the Dominican players, they want to, in some moment, some point, they want to they wanna play for and DR for the team. And, but you have to recognize, you have to, you have to know, you need to know that there's a lot of risks too. Uh, there's a difference between if you need to play here and if the team wants you to play here, then and then if you want to play just because you want to play. You know what I mean? Yep. So I think I think it's depend, like, depend the situation because you that's the last thing that you want to happen to you. Like get here uh without without like without half like everybody like 
like with you, like behind your back, like we want the, we want hands, we want this guy to play here because this, 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 and and baseball everything can happen. But if you just force him, like trying to play and and asking for play all the time, like and 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 you just go there and you don't need it and you got hurt like that, it's 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 risky. It's a little, it's it's hard because you don't know what's coming after that, you know. Yeah. So it's I don't know. So you're saying, Freddie, that Jackson Churio's not going to be playing winter ball this year in Venezuela after the contract he signed? And, uh, I mean, is he going to buy you dinner? Because he's making the 80-something million, and you, they don't know that you got there quite yet. So <laughs> how's that going to work? <laughs> uh, I don't think that he's going to play, no. I don't think. And, and, and he, should, he should take, not me. All the position players during spring training. That's good for you. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask him to do that. All the position players, he gotta take it to a dinner. And pitchers, we find a way. So we I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna let you guys know about that. <laughs> so and I'm gonna let him know. He is he, he came from, from the default territory guys. <laughs> That's fine. I'm gonna let him know. Are you excited to play with him this year? can you give us the scouting report on Cheerio? Uh, yes, uh, you know, last year we, we heard about him. I met him uh, in the spring training. Uh, good guy. Uh, so I'm excited because everybody's talking about him, all the team, all that he can do, uh, some of the staff, uh, pe- uh, people from the staff that I know from years, uh, years back, and they always talking about him, that he's a good guy, great player. And I decided to... to uh, you know, to have him in the team uh, to see what, what he's able to do. Uh, he he put great numbers last year again. Ah, this year, sorry. And and excited about about what, what he's bringing. About what we have right now. We have some very young players that they are doing that they are doing great job. So I'm excited about him and happy too. Guys, th- any thoughts? I mean, from the player perspective here, in terms of you know Jackson taking a deal like that, Freddie went down that path too. I mean, I know Todd father, you had like a little bit of an experience there. Exactly. I mean, Freddie's giving the thumbs up. It's like, Dude, get the first one. Always get right? the first one, bro. Yeah. Always get I, the first one. I'm, I'm yeah. out of this combo. Cause I can't relate here. Yeah. You, I, should... I, you know, I had the, I had this, I think that we talked about it last time. So we, you know, people now talk about me, about what I, what I, what I did about my contract when I sign it. And, you know, I was in my, uh, going to my third season in the, in the, in the, ML, in the big leagues. And I had no idea what I, you know, what I was going to be, what I, what I'm going to be able to do and all that kind of stuff. And, and they, they put confidence in me. They gave me the opportunity and I just try, we just try the best, uh, to put the content in the best way for me. And, and he, I, I was happy when I signed it. Imagine, imagine his contract. His, I, I bet you that he's happy. So, and the time in the big leagues is quick. Uh, look, now I'm going to my number seven, and I'm, I'm gonna be able to to be out of the country in three more seasons. Uh, you never know. I may get a, a, a extension. You never know what's gonna happen in baseball too. So. Let's see. I think that you always have to uh, to set up something good for you and for your family, and if they give you the opportunity, and I should, you should do it like like he did. That's you know that, that's how I see it. Qué consejo tienes el, el pa, para él? What, what would you? What's what's your advice for Jackson when uh, you know when you get a new contract? Because he's he's a lot younger than you were, but. You're yeah. both Latin players. You you know what it's like to have family at home that's gonna want me, 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 mine, mine. So mm-hmm. take consensio. Con- consensio. Consejo, consejo. Consejo. Yeah. Mío. Consejo. So so uh I think he just have to first he just have to keep doing his routine, uh learning from people uh that that he thinks that they are doing uh that they are doing in the good way. Uh, keep the people around him, the people that he believes, that he trusts, and 
and then everything you move from there. So family is always gonna be there. You probably gonna get more money now. You can you know you can take care of them a little bit better. And but step by step, you cannot rush on that because if if you try to do something crazy like just like this, you're probably gonna take the wrong decision because you never had that kind of money before. So you are learning about something new that you didn't have in the past. So I think that you just uh, find the right people, good financial advice, uh, and, and those guys gonna help you. I bet you that they're gonna help you because it's better for them too. You, you guys know about that. Uh, and I think that just follow the way step by step, uh, just trying to, to keep everything together. Uh, just that way you stay focused in baseball and you don't, and you are not thinking about something else outside of, of, of baseball and your family always going to be first, but you know also that you have to, to, to keep doing what you have to do, what brings you there and what's going to put your family more comfortable in the future. Okay. Que, que persona para, para en, en equipo in Milwaukee? Who's going to be his person in Milwaukee? Because you have, no, you have no Latino outfielders. So is it going to be Willie? Maybe Willie gets traded. Is it going to be you? But you're a pitcher. So, so <laughs> King, who, who does he have? Uh, you, know, we, you know, we always – I'm always going to be – available for whatever he needs. Uh, if I see something and, and he he wants me to help and I can help him. But I think we're going to have uh, Nestor Corredor. He's a coach and he's there too. We have uh, we have Carlos Villanueva in the team too. That He's a very smart guy. Uh, you see, like, there's always going to be somebody there that I bet you that they're going to be around him, like, just taking care of him. And let him know how 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 you stay like in the good in the good role. Yeah, Freddie, have you heard anything about your partner in crime? You lost Woodruff. Now you got one left, Corbin Burns. Have you heard anything about him going <laughs> bye bye? Uh no, not yet. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen, but uh, you know, I don't wanna. This is business. I don't wanna. I don't wanna lose him as a teammate and as a you know. I saw everything, but my, you know, what I was expecting is that by, by this time, he probably was in another team. That, that's what I, that's what I thought. But right now I haven't heard anything yet. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I don't know if he's going to stay with us. Hopefully yes, but <laughs> because. Opening day for you. Have. Hey, opening day for you. If he gets traded, guess what? Freddie Peralta uh. opening day. Against, <laughs> I don't know, maybe. But oh, no, no, maybe because there's no one. It's want you. Get... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay. We have Wayne Miley too. You see? Come on. You're gonna. Uh, come on. Come on. You know. We got. We got. No, 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 no. But I'm saying. No, no. Don't take him the wrong. I'm saying like we have Miley back. Uh, he's. We talked about him before. He's he's great. I, he's awesome. I love him, and he knows that too. And. He's, he's back in the team, and I'm excited about him too. But I don't know about Corbin. I don't know anything yet. Uh, and I don't know what's going to happen. But he probably – what you guys think? you guys think that he's going to get Drake? Ah, oh, man. I <laughs> I don't <laughs> why, why I, I can make one point? guarantee. What? How about this? I'll make you a guarantee because you know Corbin comes on the show all the time, right? Is he going to get traded? That's up to Milwaukee. I think that he probably will, whether it's in the offseason or at the trade deadline. But I can guarantee you this. Corbin Burns will not be a Milwaukee Brewer in 2025. Why? Because he told us. He said the team didn't even make him an extension offer out of respect because they didn't feel like they would be able to give him a number that he is deserved of, right? Mm -hmm. And there will be other teams next off season that will pay him like a big, big boy contract. Like, I mean, he's looking at, if I had to guess right now, what are we thinking? Everyone in the 200 plus. Oh yeah. He, 200 plus. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Two. I'm, I was thinking like if he, if he has a year, like he did say two years or three years ago or right. Mm -hmm. was like a Cy Young ish type season. I mean, he's, he's probably two fifty. What did Cole get? Three twenty 
304, I think, is the number. 305. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> right? more Cy Youngs than Cole had when he signed his contract. True. True. Yeah. So, so I, age. I, 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 I am with you, too. I think that he's going to be uh, – in the 2025, he's not going to be with the team. Yeah. End of 24. But, before 25, yeah, he'll be. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, after this year, that's it. Freddie, what about your new jefe? What about the new, what about Murph? Is he going to be a good manager or is he not going to be a good manager? Because he's a crazy. <laughs> he's, <laughs> but, but I don't, I, you know, he's different. You know him. Like, I don't, I don't know uh, how he's going to be. I don't want to see another Murph. I want to see the same move that I know. <laughs> a little crazy, but in the moment, like in the game, he, he wants to win. Uh, and he's, he fights for, for everybody. So that's that's what we need. We need to keep winning games. Freddie, you're, you're in a contract. You're a veteran, okay? You know Murph well. You can definitely give him shit as he does to everyone else, and that's part of what makes him great and also so comfortable to talk to <laughs> about anything, and he's just very open book. You have to hold him accountable to be that same person, mm-hmm. personality-wise. Sure, the job's going to change, the responsibility. We know all that. And I say this because I heard him on an interview. I heard him, I believe, mm-hmm. was on MLB radio. And he was a little more business-like, low-key. And I was like, Murph, I wasn't on, but I'm listening. And I'm mm-hmm. going, Murph, don't do that. Sh- don't change. He should be the same. I'm going to be on him all the time because he's always on me, like, you know, around all the time. So I'm going to be on here like, hey, hey, you're doing this and you should. <laughs> I don't want you to do that. Keep doing what you've been doing. And we all love you. We're going to, we have, we have you, you back. It's okay. You're going to be fine. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Don't change. Okay. Don't change. We're excited about him, man. <laughs> yeah. I, hey, don't do want, you, I don't want him to change. Hey, do you collect uh, baseball cards? Yes. You do. Do you collect any of yourself? Oh, my God. That's embarrassing. No. (laughs) (laughs) No, That's not embarrassing. All right, so that's perfect because I want to show you we have a card here. Look at the card I found. We we got this card that we got out of a pack. Look at how beautiful that is. A game-used top-tier relic card. What do you think about that one? My God. That's beautiful. That's one of one. No, two thirty one nah. of three ninety nine. <laughs> That's can still find, good though. We can find a way to to get see. it to you. Oh yeah, yeah. Now I see two thirty one of three ninety. Oh, that's beautiful. I like. You like? I will prove We're gonna have to find a way to send it to you. Okay, we'll we'll get that one to you. Get your I, first ever oh. card to yourself. Okay. Yeah, please, because I don't have one. Hey, hey look. <laughs> I have my favorite player. Todd has his. Burns. Who's that? Who's Corbin that? Burns. Yeah. Corbin Burns. Burns yeah. Yeah. Well, he is because I have I've had his baseball okay. card well, next to me the whole year. Well, no, I've had his baseball card next to me the whole year. So the thing is, is Freddie, if we can show that, can we show that card to Freddie again? Yeah, we can get that. There yeah, look, Freddie, you're tipping. By the way, you see your glove, you can see the pitch. You're tipping. <laughs> oh, oh, I see a slider. I see a slider. Nah. No, nah, fastball. No, nah, that's slider, bro. That's slider grip. Hey, hey. Are you in the same combo, too? Like, <laughs> those, those players are always, like, checking in the, in, the, in the corner. Like, he's doing this. He's doing that. He's doing this. <laughs> oh, <Uh-oh. laughs> Right here. Wait, hold up. Oh, right here. I can see that. I can see that slider grip. Fastball, a little different. Slider. See it? If I if I tip one day, it's gonna be it's, it's not gonna be with the fingers. I don't think it's probably with something with the legs or something. I think that I was doing it this year earlier in the year, and somebody let me know, and then I was like, oh, probably yes, but well, something with the legs. Oh wow! So were but you better fingers. after that? Yeah, way better. Yeah, that was uh, that was in the first two two months of the season. And I was doing the same thing. So I have my, then when people came to me, uh, people from another team, uh, they came to me and I was like, oh my God, probably I was trying to see if it was the truth because, you know, you never know. 
And then I, I have my people from Milwaukee and I sit with them early one day and we get to the field early and we start watching videos, all the videos for different, from different sides. And yes, I was doing something crazy. I was like, oh my God, like crazy, <laughs> stupid. That's the good stuff though. Cause it, it, and, people during the year will be like, oh, suddenly he's doing this differently or whatever. And it's like, nah, you actually mm-hmm. didn't know that he was tipping yeah. and then he fixed it. And that's why he's thriving yeah. now. So that's good insight. And then I like when I, yeah. So it, when I, when we fixed out, it gave me like confidence and I was feeling different. Right, right after I, see that then i was like okay you know i put like everything together and i was like okay then i was getting hit because this 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 and you know everything changed like my mind was different i was seeing everything different from that day and in the results i don't know it was way different too after that yeah, you're right. In, in May, your ERA was like in the five and a half range. And then you started flying <laughs> yes. after that. So you, yeah. you were like, oh, yeah. wait, they can't hit me. They just have a cheat code right now. And now I fixed it. <laughs> so they're screwed. Exactly. Yeah, it was it was it was bad. Uh, and, I'm, you know, I feel good about the people that told me that because I I wasn't expecting that somebody, you know, were going to say something about it uh and they weren't talking you know s- something that wasn't true it wasn't true and i figured it out we figured it out together and then it wasn't anything about pitching about change of this this because i was feeling good with everything the whole season ah the whole the two months healthy my below was great and i was getting hit easy and i had no idea why i was getting a little crazy and and look, he just came from somebody, and I was happy. Like, oh, finally! You can't tell us who, but can you tell us what team? No, 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 no. What what <laughs> what division? <laughs> no, it's okay. Come on, Freddie, please. Listen, listen, Crouch. There's no way, <laughs> hey, Freddie. Don't tell us because that's kind of against the code, dude. Like, I mean, we had friends, and we I have friends, and you catch a guy tipping. And you ain't telling them. I would, I, dude, you'd be my best friend. I catch something on you. I'm like, you're, lu- you're lucky they told you. Yeah, friend. you got a good friend. Yeah, Whoever told not, you, yeah. they yeah, are good friends of yours. That's why yeah, I'm you, you, like, you should send them a steak dinner or something. Be like, <laughs> hey, I got you. <laughs> yeah, Freddy. man. You, you, cha- you changed my whole season. You changed everything. Yeah. Freddie, hey, if I had a tip on you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even need it. I would smack your fastball so far, Freddie, it would be. <laughs> Off of Bernie's slide. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> He's just oh bringing full, this rowdy day. Full scale rowdy. Ooh, <laughs> rowdy, man. Oh, my God. I probably have to give him a little some love. Yeah. yeah. Right, right in the ribs. Rowdy, right in the ribs. <laughs> He's let on tomorrow. Know, we'll can... tell him. <laughs> okay, we'll let tell him. Know, let him know. Let I will. Know. We're going to tell him to look well, out. And he's thinner now, yeah. right? There's There's less to hit. He's doing Pilates yes. this off season, so oh look my out. God. I yeah. didn't know that. I didn't know He's gonna be a different man. I'm telling you, he's gonna show up like a he gonna, freaking he's model. He's gonna try to steal some bases. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's going for ten. Oh or my one. god! <laughs> oh, Freddie, no, great no, to talk to you. No, no. I mean, but hey, we'll see. We'll see what he looks like. We're gonna get. That's why we do this face. It's not just audio. We get to. We're gonna get a whole checkup from AJ tomorrow on the Pilates and how things are going. We're gonna quiz him. So. Stay tuned, but uh, yep. ready. Great to talk to you, man. Great catching up. Keep enjoying your off season. We'll talk soon. All right. Thank you. All right. Take care guys. Thank you. All right. I will say this Freddie P giving way to Wade Miley. If Corbin Burns gets traded, not happening. We know Wade. He's been on this show before. Kratz. Freddie P starting open a day. If Corbin Burns isn't a brewer. Absolutely. He's earned it too. Not that Wade hasn't earned it, but. The Brewers needed a guy like Wade Miley. They needed a guy like Joe Ross. They needed a guy like Colin Ray to sign back. Like, this is this is just a good signing. Not, not necessarily physically wise on the field, what they're going to produce, but what they give to the clubhouse. But it also shows what Matt Arnold's doing. He's continuing the tradition that David Stearns had put out there in the previous however many years that he was on board 
we're going to bring back guys, guys that know what it takes to win, guys that are going to compete. Are they the top of the end, top of the top of the line starters? No, absolutely not. But they're going to come in. They're going to work with pitching coach Hooky, and they're going to get the most out of what they have. And this is why the Brewers have been in the playoffs so many years in the last, so many times in the last six years. Agreed. Got to fill up the rotation too. So I know there's still a lot to be determined for the rest of this offseason with Milwaukee. We'll get into it on later Brew Crew shows to see if Burns, Adamas, guys like that get moved. Maybe even Devin Williams, or do they go the other way and say, screw it, we don't think the Central's that strong. We'll find out. As always, we pop up throughout the offseason as well. And if you want to just hear anything else on the baseball side, we are live every single weekday on Foul Territory during the offseason. For Kratz, I'm Braun. Thanks for watching Brew Crew Territory or for listening if you're on the pod side of things. We'll see you next time.